Sister Thea Bowman was a Franciscan Sister of Perpetual Adoration. She was a convert and became uh, a voice for African American people in the church. She spoke boldly to bishops and reminded them that when African Americans come to church, they bring all of their culture with them, the singing. music, the dance, and so to welcome that because it's very important for the church. It's an awesome school. Everybody adore everybody. You get to learn how to play the violin. We learn about math, religion, social studies. I like learning about God, and then like people are nice to each other. And we learn about how to use peacemaker skills. Before you enter, you ready? Good morning, Damarian. Hi, Patrice. Good morning. Good morning, John. It is a shining light in East St. Louis, Illinois. It's a bright spot for our children. It's probably the most peaceful part of their day. As they enter the building, they're greeted by their principal. To greet them with that smile and that welcome kind of sets the tone for their day. Repeat after me. I decree and declare over my life. We, we educate holistically, not just academically. We definitely push peacemaker skills in that we start each and every single morning with a peace pledge honoring God to let him know that, you know, that we are going to be the very best that we can be. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Namaste. You get your mindset to God, and then you can probably learn better because he's in your mind, and then it helps you for the rest of the day with problems or anything. When I say that we're dripping a prayer at this school, that's what we do constantly. We're constantly talking to God. Make sure you get your things. I walked in the front door and there were kids going around and everything and then I met with sister and afterwards she gave me a tour. And I don't know how to describe it, but I was just overwhelmed by this feeling and I couldn't figure it out. And then when I was leaving, I'm like, oh, God lives here. We're going to read about Henry Ford. We have the basic curriculum, but we also have uh, education through music and the arts. So yes, all students can to garden through eighth play the violin. When that happens to you, if you don't get the proper help. The younger students have art classes, the older students participate in dance, and all of that leads to the well-rounded child. And those activities support our basic curriculum of religion, reading, mathematics, language arts. We're so blessed that we get teachers that, are, that bring so much to our school and it's very heartwarming. So our staff is wonderful. We work together as a team. Like they help you a lot. Like if you have a problem with things, like let's say in a math problem, if you have like a problem with it or a personal problem. They are awesome. I love them. Um, I love all of them. <sighs> and they just learn, teach me so much. Lots of homework. I have never seen a teacher here not expect the highest level that they can get from their students. Um, and even when students stumble, you see those teachers pick them up as if they're their own and put a hand around them and say, come on, we can do better and, and guide them back in the right direction. You don't wait until quiz or test time to make the mistakes, correct? Those teachers work very, very hard every single day with students to take them where they are academically and bring them to their full potential. My role is to teach everybody how to use violin or concepts of music to help them with all their subjects and in life in general. It's what they refer to as the education through music program. We came up with uh, the boys to men program on Monday mornings um, where we just work with young men and trying to teach them um, what it means to be a man and, and how you matriculate from a young boy to a young man, to a man, and so that's what we've been working on, attitudes, behaviors, uh, goals, ambitions. We are here to break the cycle of poverty through education. 
with the combined with the arts. We are we are here to provide the best for students so that they can go out and be inspired and be empowered to help others. And it's kind of it's really been proven with our success rate. Students um, that have attended here previously has been followed and most of them what, 95% go on to college or, you know, higher um, education. And so that says a lot. We're doing something right. They should be able to go into a profession that brings joy into their lives, that will enable them to bring joy into other people's lives. And they would be equipped through the education they receive here to go into high school or college, into whatever education or pathway that they are driven from within. I think I'll be a pediatrician. I like to be a priest. I'm gonna be a singer, a dancer, a doctor. Um, I want to be an engineer slash musician slash singer and I also want to be a dancer. academic program along with the violin and the dance. It, it is excitement. They really learn well and then all of this culminates in the spring program and it, it is very exciting. You just feel it when you walk in the chapel. get all those people up there and you try to get them all to move at the same time, that's a little bit of a wow factor just if you can do that. But when they all join together, it really is a great symbolization of a united body working together as one. No pun intended, yes. it's highly <laughs> orchestrated. It's really culmination of everything that the students have learned in violin, the older students in dance, and uh, the choir, everyone singing. Kindergarten through eighth grade, it's full participation. Mm, bottom dancing, which is every six, seven, eight has to do. I get to jump around. I really love dancing a lot, a lot, a lot. I can't live without you. I can't live without you. Next week, I'm going to be 79 years old. And when I see kids like this, I have a lot of faith in the future of the young people. I love the talent, and I love their courtesies and I love their uh, respect for one another and that is so important in today's world. I think this school keeps the neighborhood vibrant because if the school wasn't here I would have moved a long time ago. Both of my boys and my oldest is 40 something graduated from this school and I always tell people about this school because it has helped my boys and I think that it's added to the neighborhood. John the 14th chapter, the 6th verse. The word of God for the people of God, amen. In Jesus name, amen. Parents, uh, neighbors, school, church, uh, we need the whole community to make this change and so Sister Thea Bowman being here on this corner is strategic and intentional and it has great purpose because it's a beacon for this neighborhood. You know, we want everyone to know that we're here, that we exist and so um, getting out into the community is something that's very, very, um, is very crucial. Everyone here in East St. Louis and across the world know that we exist here and we're doing great things. I think the most basic way to contribute is if you have time to give, if you have a talent to share, if you have a connection you can make with us, just making a phone call. If something is manufactured, what does that mean? We are in a lower socioeconomic area where there are families that just really can't afford, you know, a high tuition. And so we have those donors that step up that are willing to give. And it's just amazing how they are willing to give at the drop of a, of a hat, you know. And I've never seen anything like that in my life. And to see that, to be here to experience that is so heartwarming to know that there are good people out there that want the best for 
everyone. Bless the soul, Lord, and these are gifts which we are about to receive. I would like people to know that staff, administration, students, and parents are most grateful for any beneficiary that comes to the school. We are the shining light in East St. Louis. We are the last Catholic school standing in East St. Louis, and we need everyone's support to remain that shining light for the students in East St. Louis, Illinois. Have a blessed day. We'll see you Friday for your graduation, okay? Let's applaud them.